Hey guys, thanks for joining me here. My name is Chris with BZB Gear. Uh, today we're going to show you how to connect uh, our IP controller to two cameras, how to network this. Uh, luckily this is, a, uh, is actually PoE, which is very convenient, so you don't need a power supply, as well as it has the option to do DHCP, which is automatic IP addressing, or static. Um, DHCP is very simple. We're going to do a static assigning. I'll show you exactly where that is, as well as the DHCP in case you decide to go that route, which obviously you could. Uh, you don't really need to have this uh, IP address for any specific reason, typically. More or less where the camera is, it's a better idea to know where it is so you can get to the web GUI. So let's get started. Uh, as you can tell, we're at a 192.168.5.101 by default. So what we want to do is make sure this is on the same network as our cameras and our system. So we're going to go ahead and select Setup, where you can see here, by scrolling down on the joystick, we have multiple options, including language and key tone, um, the mode, the IP address, the version, as well as factory reset. So if you ever get really stuck, you can easily factory reset this and start from the beginning right here by just pressing this enter button. So, and let's get going here. Okay, so we're gonna go to our static IP here. So you can switch this to DHCP for simplicity, but if you want to know exactly what the address of this is, which is a little more complicated, but again, very simple overall, we're going to hit static, enter, and we're going to enter a unique IP address for this controller. Make sure it's not duplicated on the network. In other words, you don't have another device already using this IP address. Um, 192.168.1 is our subnet here push over to the right with the joystick and I'm going to designate this with a 199 host ID. I'm going to hit enter. Our subnet mask for that is a 255.0. Hit enter. Our gateway is going to be a 192.168.1 again over with the joystick 1. So that's our subnet. Enter. Okay so as of now the controller is going to reboot assigning that IP address officially for this joystick controller. We wait a few seconds for that guy to be uh, implemented. And as you can see here, we have our IP address configured. We're going to hit setup again, so you see it's on if. And we want to get down to our IP visca and hit enter. So it changes into a VSCA protocol. These cameras are using VSCA IP protocol, so you gotta make sure the controller's using VSCA. Okay, so currently we have this joystick controller networked uh, within our subnet, everything's good there. Now we want to add a camera, in fact, two cameras we're gonna do today. So initially what you're gonna do is actually press IP. I know we initially wanna go for cam one or cam two, but you don't do that. You go right to IP, you type in the IP address of the camera that is currently networked, in this case, ours is a host ID of 164. Hit enter. By uh, default, 1259 is kind of the universal UDP port for control here. And this is a camera one. Okay, so now it says tips, succeed. So I'm good. So now I can hit cam one and I can control it. As you can see, we have absolute great control. It's steady, it's smooth. Um, and accurate, which is what you want. Now, in order to add a camera two, very simple, same procedure. We're going to press IP 192.168.1, and in this case, our host ID is 165. Hit enter, again, same port number, 1259, and camera two. So, now, we have both our cameras aside. If I want to use camera two, I can select that. And as you can see, we have control, which is very simple setup. I did that in less than, you know, 30 seconds. Probably the longest part was the controller rebooting. So everything's working good. There are other options on this um, guy as well when it comes down to presets or call your preset. So for instance, if I wanted to turn this camera at me and I wanted to preset that, I hit preset number one, enter, okay, and so now it's set. Now if I moved it all the way over to here, 
and I wanted to actually recall that original preset number one, I can hit call, one, enter. It automatically goes back. So you can create these scenes, um, multiple presets, in order to be able to um, have different angles and so forth and just go right back to your original scene. Um, very convenient controller, definitely recommended for 90% of the applications out there versus using the web UI or a remote controller, which tend to be a little more clunky, uh, don't move quite as smooth. So if you can get this in your budget, absolutely re recommend it. Um, as well as you have speed control for the PTZ. So one through eight, you can slow this guy down if you want to have a nice smooth transition, which is very convenient. Um, there's iris, focus, a bunch of cool little options here. There's even another zoom ability with the left hand, as well as being able to twist this knob. So you have two options for zoom. Um, over it all, that's pretty much it, folks. Give us a call here at BZB Gear if you got any questions or email us at tech support. We're always happy to help you. If you'd like to purchase one, hit us up at sales. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.